Welcome to another camera comparison. So this time I have the Honor Magic 5 Pro versus the S23 Ultra and then the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now you'll see that the video looks different with the Magic and then the Samsung and then the iPhone. That is because right now I am recording 4K with the front facing cameras but with the Samsung and the Apple I have enabled the cinematic with Apple and then the portrait video here with the Samsung. So that's why it looks a little bit blurred the background because I wanted to test that out as well. And why the Honor's not doing it because it doesn't have that feature. So these are the front facing cameras. We've got 4K on all three of them, which is quite rare for me to actually say that because normally I am doing camera comparisons with Chinese phones that just don't have 4K with the front facing cameras. Normally they just cap out at 1080p. So image stabilization here is electronic. And walking over these little rocks and things, it seems to be reasonably steady, but one of them, to me at least, looks quite a bit steadier. Now, how does it expose this though? Very difficult conditions because we have bright sun in the background. Is it exposing my face all right or am I overexposed? And the audio sources, I am swapping between all three of them. And you can hear that difference in those microphones and audio quality. 4K, 30 frames per second with our main cameras now panning around to see if there is any of that terrible judder, those micro stutters, the drop frames shouldn't be happening with the kind of spec we have with all three of these phones here. Now there is a tiny little bit of a breeze, so if we pick up any wind noise that is not a very good sign at all. So I'm just walking over these rocks, stabilization, both optical and electronic across all three. And now we have the sun starting to set soon, reflection off the sea here difficult and that's where you sometimes do see that micro jutter come in to play the micro stutter the drop frames hopefully not here with our main cameras and audio quality which one do you think has the best microphones out of all three of these phones ultra wide video now 4k 30 frames per second so we have 12 megapixels with the iphone 12 with the samsung and then our honor magic 5 pro as a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now there is a limitation of the 15 minutes with 4K video with the Honor, which is a bit of a pain here. So this is of course all electronic image stabilization. Just a short jog now to test out that stabilization. And when I pan around now, there should be no jitter coming through. Now I have noticed with other phones for example, the Oppo Find X6 Pro that I recently just did camera comparison on, a lot of jitter coming through when you pan with these kind of conditions where the exposure does change quite a bit. And hopefully no jitter. Doesn't seem to be any with the Samsung or the iPhone at least. Zoom cameras across all three of them now. So we have of course the S23 Ultra with its 10 times optical zoom three times optical with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And then I do have a four times at the moment set with the Magic 5 Pro. And I will take that up to now it's 10 times preset, which you can see is looking pretty washed out. And I'll just apply a bit of digital here to the iPhone. So that's now five times digital zoom. And take that up to now 15 times digital zoom here with the Samsung. But that kind of zoom level with a video, even 4K30, it's not looking very good. I would keep to their optical zoom maximum. 4K, 60 frames per second with our main cameras. So we've got optical and electronic image stabilization. And yes, I am riding a bike. That's why I'm moving so fast. I thought it would be a good test here of that stabilization. Uh, there's a lot of people around here, so I'm going pretty slow. And with all these bumps and rocks up ahead, which camera looks the steadiest as I just climb up this little section here. Should be a lot smoother being 60 frames per second now. You should be able to notice that difference. Low light video, this is 4K, 30 frames per second with our main cameras and across all three of them, they don't seem to have any issues with the focus pulsing in and out. Now these little LED lights that I do have here, which are basically Christmas lights, they are yellow in color. Okay, so it should look yellow. And as I move about here, you can see there is this lens flare thing happening with this LED light that I've got right there. You can see it on the Magic 5 Pro, the iPhone 14 Pro, but you can't actually see it with the Samsung at all. Well, maybe a tiny little bit, there it is. 
but it's very hard to see so that's good to see that their anti-glare coating is working there quite well with the video and still no issues with the focus now this area that i'm going over to this is very dark this patch here now looking at this tree so we could have problems which one now looks the sharpest in very poorly lit conditions now here and we'll take a look at the palm tree up here and maybe a few stars will come through probably not the quality is looking very grainy and noisy across all three of them over to still images now so this is a selfie portrait and i like the stitching across all three they're not too bad the iphone straight away doesn't win for me this shot it's got the white balance too warm i mean look at my jacket the jacket should be black so it's between the magic 5 pro and then the S23 Ultra, I do prefer here, because of the colors being more correct, the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Rear portrait mode, all three of them do look very good. It's not until you really crop in, then you can see some differences. So the Magic 5 Pro has got a, a lot of noise to it, over sharpening. The iPhone 14 Pro also does have a bit of noise there. And if you look at my daughter's hair, and the colors of her hair, and the skin tones, I think, with the stitching too, that it is the Samsung here that does look the best out of these three. The shot of the very bright violet flower here, those different shades on the petals, we captured the best on the Samsung. The iPhone is a close second, and the Honor, well, it's just clipping those very bright violet colors, and it's oversaturated too. The shot of my cat Vera, the Samsung unfortunately just didn't land this. The focus, the shutter lag is what made it kind of blurred. Vera moved slightly and that is why it came out like that now when you zoom in they look very similar the iphone and the honor but i give the honor here the win because the whites just below on her around her chin on her chest area aren't perfectly white she was just rolling around in some dirt before so the colors came out more correct the white balance the whites with the honor with this difficult hdr shot most people would probably say hey the iphone is the best but take a little look at it a little longer now. You'll see that it's overexposed, the sun, some of those leaves in the background. Now the bokeh background blur with the Magic 5 Pro does look the best, but I think the well more balanced photo is the Samsung here, is the pick and the one I will go for. Ultra wide shot. Now at first glance, they all look very similar. However, look at the details of the cliffs in the background and especially the sky. This is where the Samsung has slightly overexposed this. It's not really capturing those details of the very light cloud above the tower. So I actually prefer this shot. I think it's the Honor that has the best ultra wide. With the main camera now, you will see again, it's the Honor that does capture that very light cloud just above the tower. You can see the upper right hand side. The iPhone seems to be a little bit overexposed. Well, not really overexposed, but a little bit too light in areas, especially with the grass in the front there and the way it's blowing things out and the over sharpening on the iPhone and the Samsung. Again, I think very close though, the Honor does the best job with this main camera photo. Zoom cameras now. So there really is no contest because the Samsung has a 10 times optical zoom versus the other two with only three times optical. And as you can see, as I apply a bit of digital zoom with the other two to bring them up to the 10 times optical level of the Samsung, it's still well ahead. And a close second is the Magic 5 Pro. Ultra wide cameras again. So the Samsung, it's overexposed a little bit. It's in third place with this shot. So it's between the Honor and then the Apple. Now, when you do crop, and this is a 200% crop now, you can see that with the iPhone, it's a little over sharpened, a little too much. I do prefer here the Magic 5 Pro's shot. Yet another shot where you'd tell me, Chris, they all look exactly the same. Well, no, look at the yellow, the petals of this flower. You can see that the Samsung, it didn't do the best job here. It didn't get all those different shades of yellow, whereas the iPhone and the Honor, they did. And I think due to the colors being just slightly more accurate, it is the Honor for me, that is the best out of these, but it's very, very close between the iPhone and the Honor. Yikes, low light selfies uh, across all three of them. They are terrible, but you can see that the Magic 5 Pro is the dullest, so that's definitely third place. There's a lot of noise with the iPhone, but then the Samsung looks a little blurred. So those two really kind of a tie there. Then not good, none of these photos. 
main rear cameras using the night modes now. So for me straight away, it's the iPhone that comes in third place with this shot. Now the S23 does look the brightest here, but there's a lot of noise in the sky. There's also a lot of noise with the iPhone. The Magic 5 Pro does, however, handle the details with the lights a little bit better, the exposure of that compared to the S23 Ultra. But then the S23 Ultra brings out more details in the mountain here, even though it looks like a bit of a noisy, washed out kind of oil painting. All three of them aren't really that great, but I think it is just the S23 Ultra taking the lead. All three shots are good here. Now the Honor has the correct white balance. It handles those LED Christmas lights the best. It has, I believe, the best amount of details around that area. And then we do have the lens flare, unfortunately, with the Honor and then the iPhone. The iPhone shot is great, but it's a little over sharpened. The S23 Ultra doesn't quite get the white balance, but it has the least lens flare. You barely even notice it on the top of the globe. You do see it with the other two. However, its background's a little more washed out. So they're all really trading blows here. With this shot here, you notice that they are all using different color science. Now, the S23 Ultra has a definite purple tint to the whole thing, a bit of a bluish tint to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and closer to true life is the Honor, but it's still off a little bit. Now, there's a lot of noise with the night sky with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The iPhone has the least noise with the sky. However, the Galaxy does get a brighter image, capture a little bit more, and I do like the way the Honor handles the sky color, but it's a little noisy. So for me, it's kind of a draw between all three of them. None of them really here aced the shot or did a really good job of it. Now this photo I took on a very dark patch and you can see that the Galaxy S23 Ultra, yes, is the brightest. The iPhone is a bit of a washed out, out of kind of focus mess. The Magic 5 Pro, I do like it. I like the details, the different colors, the sharpness. It's just really not bright enough, so it's the S23 Ultra that wins this photo. Recapping my findings here, remember this is personal opinion, you don't have to agree with me on this, but let me know in the comments. If you do, you don't. Now, I think the video quality was the best overall with the Samsung S23 Ultra. However, 4K60, the iPhone did seem to be quite stable there, quite good, but I give the win to the Samsung for the video because video is also two things, not just the image, but also the audio, and audio was superior with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Portrait shots, S23 Ultra, zoom shots, S23 Ultra, stills, they were close at times, but I think the daytime stills, the Magic 5 Pro tended to have the better colors, was sometimes there, uh, winning out a few of those shots. When it came to low light, they all kind of traded blows. And third place was definitely for low light, the iPhone. And I think it was just the Samsung S23 Ultra that pulled ahead because the Magic 5 tended to be a little bit too dark. But some of those night shots, they all kind of need a little bit of work there. So thank you so much for watching my side-by-side -side comparison here. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.